So guys, thanks for joining us at Quinn's TV. Um, talking about the two of you guys, um, both playing the centres, 12 and 13 respectively, but potentially we're looking at the future of Harlequin centre play going forward. Um, your first full year um, in the first team and your first full year as a, as a professional, how do you think it's gone? Uh, yeah, I personally absolutely loved it here. Uh, it was settling really well in my first year. The boys made me feel really welcome and over the last four years I've really developed um, as a player in all aspects, uh, like bringing in other parts of my game that weren't quite as good when I first rocked up. And uh, yeah, all the coaches and all the players around me have been really helpful with that. So I've absolutely loved my time here for the last four years. And I remember being at your debut game last year at Newcastle, you unfortunately picked up an injury, but as an experience, I mean, that must have been a pretty special day. Oh yeah, it was pretty sweet. Like, uh, just couldn't have asked for anything more. Well, I know I got injured, but it was just good to get like a full 80 and, and just like have a bit of fun and actually get some first team experience. So, Hopefully, I have a few more to come. And it was a pretty harsh introduction to the Premiership. You're up against uh, Alessandro Tuolaki, yeah. who's quite a big boy, so it was quite a steep learning curve. Yeah, mate, he's massive. Like, <laughs> just walking out, I was like, oh god, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun today. But um, no, nah, it was, it's just good because, like, it's just nice to be like up against him compared to these guys. And obviously, you've seen him like right off people, like, like all around the world. So the fact that I'm playing against him and trying to make a statement for myself against him is pretty sweet. Yeah. Sit and Harry. You've had some experienced guys to learn off. Jordan, Jordan Turner Hall, who retired at the end of the season, and Jamie Roberts coming in. Um, yeah. Jamie, incredible amount of experience. Um, I mean, there's clearly a bit of a difference in terms of his international caps and where you want to go, as well as IQ as well. Uh, <laughs> so, I reckon uh, that's the 10th time that joke's been made to me. That's never going to get old, is it, mate? No, not at all. But, mate, how much have you learned from those two guys? Because they're both incredibly abrasive, know exactly how to deliver on that at the highest stage. You know, it's been absolutely brilliant for me. I rock up and, you know, Jordan Turner Hall's in the prime of his career. He's playing unbelievable. And I had all that experience from him to try and learn off and it was brilliant. He was really helpful for me off the pitch and on the pitch and it was absolutely brilliant. And then obviously it was very sad that he had to retire. Um, you know, he was an absolute legend of Harlequin's rugby club. But then in comes Jamie Roberts, yeah. you know, a British and Irish lion. <laughs> it's not bad. Um, I can't complain. Yeah, he's and I try and base my game around the way he plays. <clears throat> Big physical ball carrier he is. Um, uh, I'd like to see myself trying to replicate what he does on the pitch yeah. and I'm really looking forward to uh, learning from him over the next two years but I would also love to play as well. That's it and Joe maybe not everyone's seen you play or seen the full potential I've certainly seen it in training and you talk to the coach of the players and they're all very excited about about you as a prospect um, what style of player would you consider yourself to be? Uh, I just like to get the ball in a bit of space and just I don't know take people on and just yeah just see if I can get around the outside, see if I can use a bit of footwork and maybe a little bit of pace. Well, not, I'd like to obviously have a little bit more, but, you know, just feed the finishers as well. Like we've got some great wingers here who have got some serious pace, so if we can get the ball into their hands early, then, yeah, hopefully it'll be happy days. And what are your aims looking forward? I mean, the, the summer, hopefully, of, off with England 20s again, and like you said, you're one of the senior members of that, but looking forward to next season. Uh, yeah, summer should be good. Um, obviously, it's a home Junior World Cup, so... Hopefully we'll go into that full head of steam and and uh, and put our performance and then yeah coming into next season I want to be obviously playing here a lot more um, training here and and just getting some some good game time and just just trying to show what I can do like if I can do that then yeah I'd be happy yeah. And Harry you've you've had a great season I've watched you lots um, your stats you. are outstanding you've really Cheers. come on since since I've left which I hope is not a coincidence, but, no. but, uh, but mate, what, what are your aims? I mean, you obviously mentioned Jamie, he, he's, a, he's a wonderful player and he, he plays most weeks, but what, what, are your, what are your hopes for next season for yourself? So I'm, I'm hoping to get some game time during that Autumn Internationals and Six Nations period. Um, so that's a big opportunity for me to step up and try and fill his boots. Um, when he is here, you know, the LV Cup is obviously another opportunity yeah. for me to get first team rugby and... You know, the way Jamie plays, he does pick up a few niggles. He's obviously, the, you know, the big physical man yeah. in the back line and he takes a lot of collisions. So I'll always be on my feet ready to fill in when, he, when he's not there. That's it. Well, guys, all the very best of luck for the rest of the season and looking on to next. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Cheers, Ziggs. Cheers.